This pitch, uh, a good one for batting, but on the slower side, we've seen the odd ball keeping low. But like I mentioned earlier, this total will get some getting, Ranil. Yes, indeed, and um, huge cheers as the two openers walk out. We're in the Shewag and Sachin Tendulkar. Tendulkar, the man in form. Big scores in uh, the first two games. But so far, this game going well for Sri Lanka. They won the first battle of winning the toss and batting first. They needed to get a big score on the board. Didn't get off to such a good start. They lost uh, the wickets of uh, Jaya Surya and uh, Atapatu. But uh, a good uh, partnership between uh, Mahela Jayabodhana and uh, Kumar Sangakkara. Resurrected the innings and uh, set the platform for Maruf to come and play some uh, big shots. So Upul Chandana on the field straight away. He's the uh, super sub. Yeah. Yes, and uh, from India's point of view, I'm sure they'll use their super sub as well, Suresh Raina. Left-handed, left-hand uh, batsman. He came on for Murli Karthik. And uh, from Sri Lanka's point of view, they'll be hoping that the law of averages catch up with Tendulkar and Sevag. They've got India off to good starts in the two games. In the Sevag strike rate uh, 96.7 he needs a big score. He's uh, got into his stride. Uh, in his last few innings, getting the 20s and 13, but not kicking on to make the big score. But uh, still a very, very dangerous player. And with him, Tendulkar is in magnificent form at the moment. So the game plan for Sri Lanka will be uh, clear cut. They'll want some early wickets to put pressure on the Indian middle order. So all the makings of a cracking contest in uh, good conditions. Sachin Tendulkar, he won't be on strike. As many as 3,800s, uh, over 13,000 runs at a very, very good strike rate, 86.3. Chaminda Vas will start the proceedings for Sri Lanka. And one thing you can be rest assured, these first 15 overs crucial. India knows this pitch will slow up later on, so... We could see some shots here. Bass on the way. Shots for sure. Starts off in blazing style, Seva. That wasn't all that bad a delivery, but struck well on the up. Struck well and struck into the gap. What a start for India. Just a minimal footwork. But then the bat coming down to meet the ball at the correct point. And time to perfection. So India on their way. Anyone having lunch uh, around the ground would have got back into the seat very quickly. That's a single on that occasion. The reason I say it is the way these, uh, the way Tindulka in particular is batting. We know how Sevak plays. It's a guaranteed entertainment. Uh, Billy Bowden just walking down the track there, taking a look, walking up to Mavanata Padu. So Tendulkar now on strike. This will be the third highest uh, total that uh, India would be chasing if they get there. The highest being a 324, got 325 against the West Indies in Ahmedabad in 2002. And in uh, 2000, they chased uh, 301, they got up to 302 against South Africa in uh, Cochin. So it's a big target. It needs uh, runs and runs to be scored consistently. Good delivery, bang on target. We didn't see much swing for Irfan Patan today. He's got 11,000 runs almost, just one run required at the top of the order. An opening batsman. 
It'll be interesting to see India's batting order today as well. They've experimented with the number three position. Tendulka off the mark with a couple. Goes past 11,000 runs as an opening batsman in one day internationals. Don't forget he has a decent test record as well. The crowd absolutely roared when uh, Tendulka got his uh, first run. They expect big things from him. But right now, Billy Bowden has uh, given Chaminda Vas a warning for running on the pitch. And uh, his uh, follow-through step getting into that danger area and umpire Billy Bowden says that's the first warning informs all those who need to know you get one more that's the most edge and taken outside edge Tendulka went after it Vast strikes in the first over and a magnificent catch by Kumar Sangakara don't forget he batted right through the innings this is a magnificent diving effort and a big blow for India. Deafening silence as the master goes. Chase that one outside the off stump. And that was going in the gap between uh, Slip and Sangakara. And you couldn't keep him out of the action. A brilliant catch. So Tendulka goes for two. And the score seven for one wicket. Seven for one, and uh, behind the Singh Dhoni comes out to the middle. Career best of 148 against Pakistan. And a good over from Vas, striking early, getting the wicket of Tendulka. India seven for one. Sri Lanka striking early, Tendulkar dismissed, a superb catch by Kumar Sangakara. Flying across to his right and taking it with two hands. Shaminda Vas once again striking early for Sri Lanka. He's got 61 wickets against the Indians, that's more than any other player against India in one-day internationals. And he's dismissed Sachin Tendulkar more than any other bowler in one-day internationals as well, eight times. That was number eight. Very clever bowler, subtle variations in pace. He's a tried and tested performer for Sri Lanka over the years. 2.92 to win from 49. Dilara Fernando will share the new ball with Chaminda Vas. His 72nd One Day International today. He's taken 89 wickets. Economy rate 
And we've seen India experiment with the number three position on quite a few uh, occasions uh, in the last couple of months. So Irfan Pathan batting at number three in uh, the first game in Nagpur. Got Tony out here today. Don't forget, he made 148 against Pakistan, batting at number three. Be a big test uh, for the Indian top order batsmen. Today they have a real challenge. I think what you what you need really, as uh, the Sri Lankan showed, uh, Ranil, is uh, to get a platform. You've got to get into a position where you're 150 for two or something of that sort with uh, wickets in hand. Then you can chase a big score. And uh, full marks to Sangakara for the way he paced his innings. Uh, Sebag, on the other hand, you can see he's got off to starts 20, 38, but not kicking on to make the big score. Here's the chance today. Yes, the Sri Lankan scored 104 runs in the last 10 overs. 61 in the last five. So that's an indication how they accelerated when it was uh, required. Good opportunity for Dilara Fernando too, to uh, get a good spell in. He's not uh, really been on the spot in the first uh, two games. Today he has the freedom. He knows his batsmen have uh, got the runs on the board. The sun beating down here in Jaipur and I won't be surprised if... Uh, this pitch uh, doesn't try up. Got a warning for Fernando as well. So both the umpires uh, in business. Saw Billy Bowden warning Vas. And now Fernando being warned. Yes, uh, it's not often that uh, they have got warned. But uh, that delivery which Fernando bowled, short, pushing the batsman onto the back foot. It's the length he likes to bowl. And that uh, just could be the right length on the surface. Uh, well, we've seen uh, the odd ball just uh, keeping low and stopping on the batsman. Important thing is not to give room to either of these players. Dhoni had a good knock in the first ODI, but it's a different role that he's got to play today. Tidy over. Two overs bold. It's nine for one. Nine for one. Packed off side field uh, set by Mavanatha Patu. It was uh, most of the time trying to angle the ball away from the right hand batsman. So he's got uh, a second slip. Deep third man cover. Backward point, short extra cover, mid off. It's a kind of track, uh, I believe, that will suit the Sri Lankan bowlers as well. 
slow, lowish kind of track. Plenty of options now for Atapatu as far as bowling is concerned. Yes, Sri Lanka coming straight into the game with uh, Upul Chandana, super sub. He's taken the place of uh, Samaravira. He goes for a big one. He's a powerful striker of the ball. That's six for Dhoni. He got the opportunity to free his arms. And boy, have a look at this. That white ball is flying. Well, this is a this is a fairly big ground, but uh, when you have strikers of the ball like this, uh, the ground does look small. Just the single. I mean, the Vaz didn't uh, falter by much. He just uh, pitched the ball up a little bit uh, too far up to Dhoni and he smashed it. Mr. Ayas Bindra and they've got Niranjan Shah, who is from the Saurashtra Cricket Association. former president of the Board of Control for Cricket in India, he can relax now. This match is not in Mohali. He can sit back on that armchair, take it easy, feed up, enjoy the entertainment. As far as Niranjan goes, uh, he's got a game coming up, so he'll be busy with that. He has to hurry. Slight misfield allows uh, Dhoni to get, in fact, Sevak to get the single. Murli Dharan was the man uh, closing in. Three gone, 17 for one. scorers for India in one day cricket. Sachin Tendulkar dismissed today cheaply. Vasa's first over. Fernando now will continue. We're in the Seva climbing up the ladder there quickly. 3857 runs. That's good line to Seva. Tucking him up. Not allowing him to free his arms. didn't pick it up early he would have uh, liked to play that hook shot or he would have uh, liked to hit it with the pace but um, couldn't really judge the bounce up on his feet and uh, Fernando again bowling that uh, good length Well, that one slightly slower, 125.2 Ks. But he's uh, generally around 135. So he's mixing it up nicely. Good start for Dilara Fernando. Single will bring uh, Dhoni on strike. <laughs> 
Sri Lanka earlier today batted uh, quite superbly. Indian bowling getting a real hammering in the last 10 overs where over 100 runs were scored. Captain Athapattu must be pleased uh, with the way his uh, middle order batted. He himself wasn't able to get too many 17 or 49 deliveries. Still uh, struggling with the bat. That was on to him quickly. Looking for the pull. Too quick is what the Sri Lankan fieldsmen are saying. And uh, certainly did get to him pretty quickly. Got big on him as he went for that uh, pull shot. Didn't know where the ball went in the end. Good bowling from Fernando. He's uh, hurt a bit. He's got it on his fingers. I think it's a thumb. It's uh, gone numb. Just uh, getting it out of the glove and flexing it a bit. Interesting to see how Tony reacts. Interesting to see what the next ball will be. Where will he pitch it? Will he give him that Yorker or will he keep it short again? Gets the single. Keep the strike, Tony. Four overs have been bowled. 19 for one. to win from 46 overs Chavandavas will uh, continue to win in catching position there's a short extra cover as well down the track I think that's the reason why it's not easy to get a leg before wicket he was chipping down the track Dhoni it'll be interesting to see where the ball pitches Going down the leg side, but, uh, Chamin Dabas thought uh, there may be a chance for him to uh, get uh, Billy Bowden interested, but uh, Billy Bowden not interested. Good delivery though, pitch right up on his feet. There's absolutely no doubt that Vas will use the slower ball shrewdly with Dhoni. Dhoni is someone who comes hard at you. Again, Billy Bowden goes down the track. I think this is the second warning for Chaminda Vas. He was warned in the very first over. He's gone to him again and said, uh, be careful. That's the last one. Skipper steps in. This is strange because uh, Chamin Dawaz never does get onto the pitch. He always uh, stays clear. Maybe he's just getting in uh, to that danger area on the follow through. That uh, step after the delivery is just uh, into that danger area. Three good deliveries uh, from Was. All three of them coming back to the right hander. And, uh, Dhoni obviously not very comfortable with that. He's a player who likes to free his arms, swing the bat through the line. Good clever bowling in this over so far from Chamin Dawas. He goes for it again. 
The result the same, second six for Dodi. He was waiting for that. That's where he likes it. Didn't really get all of it as much as the earlier one, but still hit with tremendous power. The Kumar Sangakara straight away going down and having a word with Was. Was perhaps a little bit disturbed by the fact that uh, he's been warned for running on the pitch. Always is in the back of the mind of the bowler when that happens. Concentrates or thinks more about that sometimes than uh, really what he should be doing with the ball. So both Was, both Atapattu and uh, Sangakara having a word with Was. He's an experienced campaigner, he'll get his mind back onto it. Now some thought put into the field placing, man's drop back on the offside. There is a slip, there is a gully, there's a short extra cover. But what's happened is uh, the field has come up on the offside, what Dhoni's done is uh, made Atapa to get rid of the third man fielder which is always uh, dicey he's up in the ring because he wants a man in that position deep extra cover five overs gone 25 for one Twenty-five for one. Sri Lanka were twenty-seven after five. And that's nicely played. Just opening the face of the blade. And good work in the deep. Russell Arnold had to cover ground quickly. Did play it intentionally. Good piece of fielding by Russell Arnold. Good commitment there, throwing himself to his left. Should be cut off just inside the boundary. Three runs uh, comfortably taken. Nice wristy stroke from Sevag. Sevag, 13 of uh, 11 deliveries. That's the first one that uh, Fernando has straight down the leg side. Well put away. Nice high back lift. Had control as he uh, rolled his wrists over. And that brings uh, Tony back on strike. Yes, he'll be wanting to push Dhoni back because uh, the two times Vaas pitched the ball up to Dhoni. He was hammered. This is the first one. Over extra cover. Went a long way for six and then again, very similar shot. There's no half measures with this man when he looks to play a positive stroke. Good bowling. The Indians going along nicely. They lost uh, Tendulkar. 
It's a harder day for the uh, Indians. Coach Greg Chappell looking concerned. Two up in the series. And Sri Lanka came up with a good batting performance. Have they turned the corner? Lucky just getting the bat down at the right time. That ball was slanting in uh, towards the pads. Not where he intended it to go. In fact, uh, he had a quick glance round no sooner he made contact. Just getting the inside of his bat. Only 16 of 21 deliveries. Chipped in the air, just clears it on. Three runs taken, but just for a moment, Sevak would have had his heart in his mouth. Six overs gone, 34 for one. Thirty-four for one. Six overs have been bowled. Chaminda Vaas uh, has been taken off the attack because he was won twice in two overs by Billy Bowden. So you might just see a change of ends for Vaas. Maruf uh, replacing him. And a replacement in the commentary box as well. Shivarama Krishnan is with Ranjit Fernando. Thank you, Ravi. The last ball of the previous over. I think Virendra Sivag was lucky. He was deceived by the slower delivery, closing the face of the bat a little too early. Man at mid on, judge did not judge it to perfection. He has got himself caught up in a tangle there, and the ball's just going over his head. Morally, the run standing at the top of the uh, 30 yard mark. The ball just chipped over his head. So, Fervis Maharuf need to try and keep this quiet. As the Indians are making some headway, Sri Lankans have runs on the board, but um, they can't be complacent. This pitch is playing well. Yes, it's the call and it's a misfield. He's putting pressure on the fielder. Virendra Sivak struck it firmly and called immediately. Could have been a tight single, but it's four. Yes, they took off for the single. Was sensed that and it just took his eyes off the ball. Just keeping the eyes on the batsman as a result of it. Uh, lost contact and the ball went right through him. He's catching up. Getting a little bit of strike for the moment. Virendra Sevag. Again, the slower delivery. These two hit a lot of boundaries. I wonder why they're risking their wickets for a single. Chandana, the fielder. Yes, I think uh, the non striker was well aware that it was Chandan who was coming, rushing in, and very wisely sent Sevak back. Of course, uh, again, Chandana himself fumbled, uh, taking his eyes off. Then straight at this time, be just a single. But these two with the high back lift seem to be going for everything. Tony and Sebag. There's no question the intentions of the Indians is to cover as much ground as possible in the early 20 overs. But very likely the Sri Lankans would take the power play. India's point of view. You'd like both of them to get going. He struck it cleanly again. He's just an amazing striker of the cricket ball. Didn't bother running and Billy's having fun and so is Dhoni. What a shot. Absolute power and again 
coupled with timing these two combined can be absolutely sensational just look at this shot right in the center of the bat there was no doubt as to where that would end up went up like a scud that was stand and admire he loved it Dhoni the crowd's loving it too strike rate of 100 for Dhoni yes if they were disappointed with Tindulkar's dismissal the coming in or entry of Dhoni to the crease must have uh, lit them up Quite interesting uh, from Dhoni. Just the four singles. No twos, no threes. The rest have been in boundaries. And all three sixes. Doesn't believe in running too much. It's why run when um, you've been hitting it so cleanly. Both players. Dhoni's three sixes in the process. Giving the charge. This is the fast outfield. Dhoni taking the Sri Lankans on. Boundary to end the over. Seven overs gone. It's 49 for one. So very good last over, 15 runs coming from it. Tony and Sebag doing the damage. 42 the partnership in 37 balls. So quite a bit of batting left. This game is on and uh, the Indians know it. The crowd too. Good delivery. You've got to do this consistently. The Yorkers, the slower deliveries are the way to go. Yes, I think in the earlier games, the Sri Lankans overdid the slow deliveries and as a result of it, they were predictable. So it's important that Dilara Fernando gets it in as a surprise and that's just what he's been doing. They need to try and mix things up to try and uh, confuse these batsmen. Another good delivery. Every dot ball will add pressure. He bowls the slower delivery extremely well, Ranjit, and he's got that split finger gripping there. He splits it at the last moment. And the release is so very good. Very deceptive indeed. It's the very fact that he's just uh, split it at the last minute makes it so difficult for the batsman to recognize the slower one. So that makes it uh, all that more difficult to play him. Just be the single. That brings up the 50 for India. So made in very good time, keeping up with the run rate. So you can see it pleases the captain as well. So Sri Lankans have runs on the board, but they certainly cannot be complacent. One must realize that uh, in the current day, with uh, the power plays uh, being now running for 20 overs, so one really can't be even complacent with 300s. He does hit the cricket ball really hard, don't he? So the Sri Lankans, what they need to do is just strive to pick up wickets. It's so important that they keep on doing it. Just saving runs is not uh, in order. As uh, if they do that and um, in fact dispose of um, either one of them or both these batsmen, they, they certainly could be in some sort of strong situation. Shot asking for trouble. Dhoni not the one to miss out. This pitch is so unforgiving when it's short. 
There's not much life in it, not much bounce. It gives the batsman ed ample time to get back and pull it away. And Dhoni is in no mood to defend any of that. Certainly going after the Sri Lankans. And that's pulled away for four. Wide off the man at deep fine leg. Good adjustment. Initially onto the front foot. Then realizing it was short, made the adjustment so quickly, Dhoni. He's on a roll at the moment. The Indians would like him to carry on. So would the crowd. This time, shot of the man at third man. Will just pick up the single. Eight overs gone, 55 for one. The Sri Lankan chart going the old-fashioned way. So small overs to start with. Couple of wickets lost. Jayasuri and Atapatu. And then a good partnership. And towards the end, the last 10 overs. 104 runs were scored in the last 10. And in the last 5, 61. India, single dot, big setback. Wicket of Tendulkar. Building up nicely. 15 runs India ahead at this stage. Maruf will continue. Oh, dangerous. Very dangerous, but he's that kind of player. Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Picks up a boundary again. Yes, it was in the air for a moment. There was a man placed that short extra. In fact, for the drive, Watership moving on to 50. Made in 44 balls. He took the ball on. It hit so powerful. And again, the center of the bat hit the meat. There's not much chance picking them up unless they stick. Goes at them very hard. Uses the bottom hand to good effect. So bowler feels that he just foxed him with the change of pace. Strike rate improving all the time with Dhoni. Three fours and three sixes. Just the five singles to go with it. Oh, good delivery. Can't do much about that as a batsman. Yes, there was a big back lift there, but a long one, and uh, Dhoni came down very quickly. Maruf uh, sizing the situation right in the block hole, but he did well to dig it out. I think surprising everybody, he got four runs of the first delivery. Charging the second. Thinking long and hard. Dhoni thought it was a wide. Good call from uh, Billy Bowden. So you could see that Maharuf uh, is looking to keep the ball up. Pushing it far forward. Encouraging Dhoni into the drive. But... Only leaving it alone, expecting the wide. Change of pace, 112.8 Ks. That's working. So better deliveries from Maharuf. Looking to uh, pull this back after that first boundary. hard work for everyone out in the middle and uh, conditions pretty warm at the moment maximum of 31 degrees today oh, ho, ho. even the man outside the fence would have been in danger Tony 
Would love to spend another 45 minutes to an hour there. I think the whole of India would expect or hope that he would be out there. You can't keep him quiet for just more than a few balls. That's hammered down the ground. Very much a Caribbean style shot. Oh, it's delivery off the back foot. The Sri Lankan Bain starts getting together. They will have to come up with some options here. They're still restricted to just two men outside the ring. So the bowling will have to be precise online. Looks like it's certain they won't take power play number two straight away. Yes, I think they'll have to look at some way of picking up a wicket, maybe a spin against Dhoni. Slower delivery doesn't make a difference to Dhoni. He's having a ball. He's farting out in the middle. Nine hours gone. It's 67 for one. So the blue worm ahead at the moment, the 10th over. And for a few moments, Sebag is looking like a man who is subdued. Yes, he is pedestrian in comparison to Dhoni. So you could see the pace at which Dhoni is going. But again, Sebag also has picked up 22 runs in 19 balls. The, previous, uh, the last ball in the previous over, that was bludgeoned away race to the boundary there was no question of that while Tony has made 43 of just 33 balls Sebal's just man at 17 and his strike rate is 110 <laughs> Sebag Crowds really on their feet here in entertainment. A great exhibition of batsmanship here. Should be more than a couple. In fact, it reaches the fence. Very good timing. Oh, with his outfield right up, there's plenty of value even for the. Uh, Softest of shots that was nicely deflected past the man at short mid wicket. Again, the timing, letting the ball go on its way, using its pace. Nothing much wrong with the delivery. Largely back of a length. The line was not too bad either. At the moment, these two are just too good. Partnership 64 and 52 balls. It's a Sri Lankan captain, Mawan Atapato, certainly would be in a bit of a dilemma here. Is he going to take the next power play? That really would, would be the question. Or is he going to use Murugaran and look to try and uh, dismiss uh, one of these? Quite certain he will not take the second power play. Spread out the field, maybe use uh, Murugaran. But I'd like to take a gamble, use Chandana, the leg spinner. He's being super subbed against two right-handers. Just might pick up a wicket, might be expensive, but it's a wicket that they need. It's a no ball. It's all going wrong for the Sri Lankans. Ilara Fernando has managed to, in a way, minimize the no balls. But uh, once again, on this occasion, overstepping.
pretty disciplined this time around. Very good call again by Hari Haran. He's had a good match. Would have been inside edge. Just get him the single. So there's nothing called defense for Dhoni. Even uh, if the ball is off good length, he just manages to push it, gets an inside edge. So they've covered a great deal of ground here. 225 to win now in 40.1. Run rate required. 5.6 at the moment, nine wickets in hand. Things under control. They've got to bat with common sense. Single to Sevag to keep strike. Ten overs gone. 75 for one. Very good 10 overs for India. Sri Lanka at this stage, 51 to 1. India losing Tendulkar early. Tendulkar departed for two, reaching out to a wide delivery to be brilliantly caught by Sankara. Thereafter, it's been uh, raining fours and sixes. Sevag on 28, Dhoni on 44. So the second power play not taken. Atapatu will make a bowling change. Bring his premier spinner on, Muthaya Murlitharan. This calls for a few desperate measures uh, by the Sri Lankans. Apart from um, picking up runs quickly, I think they've also occupied the crease for some time. So had a good look at the seamers. So in order to try and take on Murlidharan, that would serve them good. Murlidharan just picked up a wicket in the last two games. So he would be also looking to try and get some success here. Considering his record, 387 one-day wickets at an average of... 22.38 best of 7 for 30 and that was against India at Sharjah silly point one man catching there it'll be interesting to see India's uh, approach to Muralidharan would they like to keep Muralidharan wicketless or would they go after him because um, they know that um, he is the man who the Sri Lankans rely so heavily on to pick up wickets. Good work. Very good work. Russell Arnold, the fielder. It was travelling quickly. In the circumstances, Sri Lankans need to be desperate on the field. And... Uh, Fielding like this would always lift the morale and uh, the levels of fielding of the rest of the team. Getting to your point, Ranjit, I don't think Virendra Sevag will have any plans. He'll just look at the ball. If it's there to be hit, he'll hit it. I think this is the time you'll see Murli Tharan use a lot of this. Dusras, the ball that leaves the right-hander because the off-spinning. With the ball coming into the right-hander, is much easier for these two right-handers to hit with the spin on the leg side. It is known that Murlidharan does spin the ball most, uh, more than most. We didn't really see Harbhajan and um, Karthik get too much turn. Of course, the pitch itself has uh, worn out and dried up much more now. The ball's also fairly new and hard. I just start to turn as the match progresses. I think he picked this one. Yes, if I asked Sadoni, I don't think he really knows how to play a defensive shot. 
He's been pushing at everything. And um, even the introduction of Muralidharan is not going to hold him back. So four men inside the ring, one of them catching as a silly point. It's a backward point. Nobody saving a single on the offside. So you see there's a backward point and a silly point, but if he plays in front of square on the offside, there's one, if not two, to be had. We'll pick up a single, three runs of the over. 11 overs gone, it's 78 for one. Going at a very good rate, India. 7.09. Need another 221 from 234 balls. Sebag and Tony need to realize that the partnership of 70 will so far has come in good time. They need to consolidate. So a great partnership when the Sri Lankans batted. Mayala Jayavardhane and Sangakara. That's the kind of batting that India will look at. Yes, they batted so well, hitting the cover of the ball really hard and uh, almost taking it off. But uh, they can't really get careless at this stage. See, all what Sri Lanka needs is a wicket and then uh, for a few overs they can pull it back. And that's uh, really what India wouldn't want. And Chamin Dawas, he's uh, been the man who really could... Uh, sort of exploit conditions such as this. He's bowled so well on slow tracks. His record in one-day cricket speaks for himself. Figures of eight wickets in a game, probably the only one in one-day cricket who's done that. Two hat-tricks. I'm just a little concerned here, Ranjit. He hasn't taken the power play, but he's using two of his best bowlers. Might come a time when he's got to take the power play with the lesser bowlers. When I mean lesser, I'm not trying to put them down. Lesser in comparison to Chamindavas and Murli Dharan. Yes, with these two batsmen going the way they do, he is taking a gamble, Mahavanath Pattu. This is a man in the deep. Shaminda picked up the wicket of Sachin Tendulkar. Dismissed him a number of times, but it's actually a wide delivery. Sachin actually went after that. And look how wide it was. From the natural angle, Billy Baran might actually call it a wide. But a great catch by Sangakara. Athletic, acrobatic. Big bonus as a bowler. And that wicket also made him the highest wicket taker in Monday International Cricket against India. 61 going past Vasi Makram. And he's the man, Chamindavas, who's dismissed Sachin Tendulkar the most number of times. Eight times. That must be a record he really would be proud of. As um, Sachin Tendulkar is someone who's so difficult to dislodge. When you look at his record... All these stats that we're reeling out, courtesy Mohandas Menon. So this is the time in India should be quite content picking up five runs and over, even if they are in singles. And make sure Chamindavas and Murli bowl most of their overs and do not pick up any wickets. The singles are there for the asking. Bunch of gaps with um, the Sri Lankans having pushed their field back. 
Just five inside the ring. It's been a very good surface to bat on. The ball's coming on nicely to the bat. But there might be a little bit of air and tear. The pitch might slow down as the match progresses. Still looking very good. The target quite possible. And definitely possible if you can do this. There was a man at long off, but he had no chance whatsoever. And Mahendra Singh Dhoni brings up his 50. What a fine innings this has been. Splendid runs off the Sri Lankans. On that occasion, the Kishan Singh was just thrown at that delivery. He's just short, hitting it on the up. Bludgeoned it down the ground. Awesome power. Six fours, three sixers. Firepower, Dhoni. So the keeper comes in. Sangakara. Dot ball to end the over. Taylor was gone. 85 for one. That's a terrific scoring chart. 78 runs, 78 percent of the runs on the offside. He's picking up a single, Virendra Sevag. Things looking good for India. 86 for one, and to take it through, it'll be Ravi Shastri with him Arun Lal. Thanks, Shiva. What a terrific beginning for India. They're definitely in the hunt now. didn't quite connect he'll get one for it there's no real reason for him to go after the bowling now Ravi they've got a great start they are up to seven runs and over they've pushed Sri Lanka onto the back foot they haven't taken the second power play so I think now he, Dhoni as long as he's there they can't take the second power play he needs to keep his wicket I think sensible cricket now is the order of the day and uh, just seeing the way Sevak's playing Murlitharan, it's uh, it's good cricket. He's just knocking it into the gaps. He knows that Murli doesn't Murlitharan doesn't like bowling with fielders up. So as long as Murli is bowling, uh, I can't see Atapatu taking power play, which is good news from India's point of view. You still pick up your singles, ones and twos, and you're up there with the run rate. Now that's excellent running, excellent running. It was Dhoni who pushed Sevak. Ran very quickly that first run. Well, it was just a chip. Just take a look. Now, this is what he was alive to the situation. Sehwag, he had to come to the danger and he knew the ball was not traveling to the fielder. So, these runs all count. Five off the over already. I think now wickets are of essence. Just keep your wickets intact. Five runs and over from here on will get you the game. Sehwag. Quite unobtrusively so has reached 34 of 31 and he hasn't been going after the bowling. He's been taking a lot of singles. Just three boundaries in his 34 of 31. He was wanting to have a go at it. Didn't. 13 gone. 90 for one.
So in comparison, India 90 for one, Sri Lanka was 64 for one. And it appears that the Indians are going to carry on with their experimentation, keep surprising the Sri Lankans. So far it's working wonders. Irfan Pathan in the first game, and now Dhoni. So a lot of options opening up for the Indians and Greg Chappell. That's Mahendra Singh Dhoni's wagon wheel. He does favor the offside. Some spectacular hits over extra cover, long off, those sixes. The good thing about Dhoni is that he hits straight, Ravi. It's not that he's going across and hammering. It's the straight swing of the bat. That's why his consistency. Now, you mentioned about how India should play it from here. Now, here's an ideal chance of uh, just knocking the ball around. Chandana bowling. Just four men in the ring. So, there are plenty of open spaces for you to work the ball into the gaps. Uh, you would imagine with the attacking instincts of these uh, two players that you will get the odd boundary. But uh, you can just do it in singles for, till this period when they take power play again. Indeed, force them to take the power play again because just another three, four overs and they'll start panicking. They've run one very quickly. Okay, okay. Yeah, one. Tony wants one. Better sense prevails. Leg by is signaled. But you're absolutely right. All they need to do is just keep pushing for singles. I think Atapattu is counting on the fact that Dhoni is not going to be able to just push for singles. He's going to go for the bowling and make a mistake. Dead right. He's, he's just working on his uh, patience. Just seeing how long he'll be patient. Sevak's doing it nicely. You can see the intention is there to take the single. Sevag is done up. He's taken 16 singles, Sevag. It's really out of character, but he's getting that more at a runner ball, but almost. But he's content with one. Almost managed to beat that long on fielder, Dhoni. That's Sevag's score breakdown. 16 ones. Now that's normally not the case just the three boundaries in his 36 and yet it's quicker than run a ball so you can imagine how he's doing it he's contrary to popular perception he's a thinking cricketer full toss but can't quite push it for four but he's content with one rub he's really playing a uh, fabulous innings here within the Sevag. and it's against his uh, nature i think uh Sevak can get into a habit of batting uh, 35, 40 overs, just being a little more selective uh, with his shot making. He can be uh, far more consistent. 14 overs have been bowled and India going along nicely. 95 for one. That's a pretty picture. That's the Nahargar fort in the background. And if you're an Indian supporter, it's even prettier. 95 for one after 14. Dhoni on 54 of 48. He's gone for the sweep, but he gets just one. Too many quick fire 20s and 30s for Virinda Sehwag. If India have to become a power in one day cricket again, this man, Virinda Sehwag, with all his talent, and acumen he's got to he's got to go the distance he's got to play innings of substance of 30 overs and 40 overs you can't lose if Sehwag is there till the 40th over and I, I saw him uh, in an interview say the same thing that it's he wants to now be a little more selective a little more discreet a job easier said than done I felt but today he's really done himself proud with this inning so far And 
don't forget, uh, he's not got much of the strike, just 35 uh, balls when he scored 38. They'll look for two. In fact, Chandana is very quick. They'll have to settle for the single. I just feel uh, Arun... Uh, that uh, Mahavanata Padu might be better off attacking a little more with Murli Dharan. Murli Dharan is a strike bowler. He's one bowler. When he bowls his 10 overs, you want him to pick up two or three wickets. Here he's looking to uh, just contain, which I don't think is the right tactic for Sri Lanka at this stage. They need wickets. They need to keep picking up wickets at regular intervals to uh, stem the run flow. You're absolutely right, Ravi. I think at the moment he's counting on the fact that Dhoni will give it away. He's waiting for him to make uh, that act of indiscretion. That is the reverse and he's got it. Sevag is gone. It's the one that straightened from the leg stump. That's the Dusra. What Billy Bowden had to judge is had it straightened enough and not gone along with the angle down the leg side. And eventually, I think he's made the correct decision. Well, he's got the wicket. But have a look at this now. Where did this ball pitch? Pitched on leg stump straightening that would have gone on to hit the stumps. He took his time, Billy Bowden, and thought the ball had done enough to uh, straighten and go on to hit the stump. So, once again, Sevag after being set out for 39, India 99 for 2. Ninety-nine for two. Just India just lost Vrinda Sehwag to that magician Murli Dharan, thirty-nine of thirty-seven. But uh, the man of the hour has been Mahendra Singh Dhoni, fifty-six of fifty. Yes, he's played some cracking shots and he uh, made his intentions clear early. Massive hit for six of uh, Chaminda Vas, and then again in the very next over. Such a strong man, uh, Dhoni. When he hits the ball, it stays hit. Sixes and fours uh, came easily off his bat. He's already struck three sixes. Vaz got some special treatment from him. Well, some vicious hitting there by Dhoni. And you take a look at those figures. Economy rates of Vaz. 7 13.5 for Maruf, but they've got a wicket most importantly they've got Sehwag 
Mulitharan, the last ball of the over. Drive it to face. He's got a ring around catching fielders. Take a look at that. Last ball. Drive it gets a single. With it, India, 100 for two. Well, more than a runner ball, both the 50s, 45 and 46. They've got a wicket. They've got rid of Virinder Sehwag. He was looking very dangerous indeed today, 39 of 37. He wasn't taking too many risks, but that was it. it needed a miraculous delivery like that one bowl to him by Mulitharan to get rid of him. Now, Dravid is also in fine form. Averaging close to 48,517 runs. A strike rate which is improving all the time. He's really self-assured now. But it's going to be Upal Chandana to Rahul Dravid. Still no power play. I think that's all he needs to do. Rahul keep pushing for singles. He's walked into a situation. No power plays. There are big gaps. Suits his style of play. He can get settled while garnering the singles. So although they've lost within the Sehwag, there's really no need to panic. They are ahead of the run rate. And they've got Dhoni, this man there, still in. Just got to curb him slightly. Just keep him under control, Dravid. Actually, it's a good time for Sri Lanka to go through their overs quickly. Spinners bowling in tandem. Get a few dot balls in, let the pressure build up. And really, Dhoni is the kind of player, Arun, you bowl two or three dot balls, he's bound to do something. No matter what the situation, you, he's not the kind of bloke who likes to be kept quiet. But look at the effect of a Dhoni. Still no power players. Would you take the power player, Ravi, now? That you've got a wicket or are you waiting for Dhoni to go? Uh, it's, a, it's a tricky one. I think with the spinners bowling, uh, Atapatu might just carry on for another two, three overs and then probably uh, decide to take power play. Because he wants to get this momentum uh, that India have got down a bit. Don't give them the boundaries and the, and the sixes. Just let them uh, get the singles at this stage. Just quieten things down for a bit and then take power play. I won't be surprised if he takes it in the next over or the over after once Rahul Dravid is on strike. Full toss and he has hit it over the fence. Up, up and away. Six more to end the over. 16 gone, 109 for two. India almost at seven runs and over 6.81. Target was 5.98. Well, the second power play, they've been forced to take despite the last ball that was bludgeoned for six. Not too many options there. He's got to get rid of these power players. They can really, uh, you know, sting him later on. I think that's the way he's looking at it. Uh, it could hurt him badly later if, they, if this partnership develops from India's point of view. Yeah, yeah, 
four sixes for Dhoni. And this is the last ball of the previous over. Just disappeared over square leg for six. And the good thing about that shot was there wasn't much of a back lift either. It was just the follow through the blade. Such a strong man. <laughs> Very powerful. And look at that bat that he wields. It's, it's huge. Well, Tharan is into his fourth over. They've got to play him with a certain amount of circumspection, not give him wickets. If they can do that, then that's really half the battle won against Sri Lanka. You can see uh, Mulitharan pushing it through a lot quicker when he's bowling to uh, Dhoni. And a lot of the top spinners as well. He's not bowling his off breaks to Dhoni. He's got field restrictions now. So he's going to have to be a lot flatter in trajectory. And like Ravi just said, he's going to keep trying to bowl the away going ones. It's not the easiest to pick. Muli Tharan. There you are. That's the one that goes away. Not the easiest to pick. And also, the fact that because of the revs imparted on the balls, the balls dip. They fall a lot quicker than you expect them to. It's very important you watch his hand closely when he's uh, delivering the ball. Oh, that's uh, gone past Dravid. Beaten uh, Sangakara as well by signal. Very good over from uh, Murli Dharan. 17 gone, 112 for two. That's the comparison for you, the graph, the Indian graph, the blue one, really taken off. They've lost two wickets, important ones those, in form Sehwag and Tendulkar. But they've got Dhoni to contend with another surprise package, Mohinder Singh Dhoni. Sort of been inflicted upon the Sri Lankans. They've got to get rid of him in a hurry because he's doing enormous damage. 64, he's got of just 56. And I'm sure uh, Atapatu will be well aware that uh, India has depth in batting. A lot of depth in batting today. Suresh Raina, the super sub also being used. Which means they still have Yuvraj, Venugopal Rao, Yadav Raina, Pathan, Agarkar, all can contribute. Now Chandana, bowling, two field restrictions. He's got a a mid wicket, orthodox mid wicket, and a square leg. So he's bowling round the wicket to drive it. He's going to keep it coming in from outside leg. Ah, Dravid went for it. He was in the slot. Didn't quite connect. Yes, and it's uh, also a case where the field is up. Now, what will be interesting to see is Dhoni's tactics. His eyes would have lit up just seeing uh, power play being taken, the field up. He loves to hit uh, down the ground. He doesn't hesitate in using his feet. Now, this is interesting. Around the wicket to Dhoni. <laughs> well, that's done a little bit of damage to Dhoni, but he's gotten away with it. Premeditated. He was charging him. How he managed to keep that away from his stumps, God alone knows, because he could have been stumped as well. Well, he's hurt himself somewhere. I just uh, wonder if he's pulled aside uh, the lower back. Seems okay. Dravid would have had a word with him. I think they've just got to calm him a bit. He doesn't have to hit every ball for six because the field restrictions are on.
Just wait. That's in the air and in the gap as well. I wonder if Rahul Dravid went and told him, just play your game, don't worry. <laughs> just keep going, youngster. Really, this was against the break. Now, let, take a look at this one. Against the break, over mid on, um, over mid wicket, I beg your pardon. And then once you get it over the infield, it's four. Dhoni's not going to stop at anything now, but he made room for himself, got his feet out of the way. Now what? Mid off, mid on, on the 30 yard circle, hoping for a miscue. That's a miscue, but it's gone over. We we'll still get to Dhoni. It's a few risks now being taken. But he hits it so hard, even miscues are going to go over the top. He's got to miss it altogether. Yes, he is eyeing that uh, straight field. There's no question about that. Likes to hit in that area. Two runs added to the score because uh, no ball signal. Actually, one thing good about Dhoni is that you, the momentum is constantly maintained. Even though you lost Tendulkar early, it didn't quite matter because the run rate is exceptional, 6.79. Catch it was the call, but didn't quite make it to the fielder. Nine from the over, 18 gone, 121 for two India. Murli Tharan into his fifth over, bowling to Dhoni. That's four. He waited for it, let it do its thing, let it turn, took it on the top of the bounce and just smashed it past extra cover for four. Well, this is uh, an amazing shot because he was looking to hit it square. The ball just didn't come on. In the end, he's just bludgeoned it between mid-off and cover. See the par behind that shot. Now the field is up for Murli as well, which means the option is there if there is a ball tossed up to hit down the ground. Just clearing mid off on that occasion, getting another two. He's living dangerously, but the scoreboard sticking. But the good thing is, he's trying to go over the straight field and over mid off. It's the Ultas of Murli Tharan that are the danger. As long as he doesn't target mid on and mid wicket, he should be all right with that heavy bat of his. Couldn't quite get his hand down on time. They'll get a couple. Sanat Jaisuriya, the man. So, as you say, Ravi, the scoreboard ticking merrily. Eight from the over already in three deliveries. With every chance, uh, something happening in the next three as well. Uh, he's just had one that hit the middle of the bat that went to the boundary. And a couple of streaky shots. What does he do now? That is close, but maybe got the inside edge. Now that's what he should avoid doing to Murli Tharan. Don't play him like an off spinner. Play him like a leg spinner. I think Dravid also coming in telling him if you're hitting him, hit him uh, down the ground. Look to hit across the line. Unless he really picks the off break. That's got to be close. That would have been interesting if it hit. But Tony has a single.
a good fielder, Del Chan. Just felt uh, if he had uh, got rid of the ball underarm, might have got that extra time. That's well played. Very good shot from Dravid. Now that's a good over for India. Nice way to end it. 13 of it. 19 gone, 134 for two. Well, because of that, those consistently tall bars on that chart, on the Indian chart, that is, the asking rate has come down now to 5.32. And as a consequence of which, they've sent in uh, numerous messages. There are two, three people on the field telling Dhoni that just take it easy, young man. You've got 80 of 65. Just keep the singles ticking. We get four or five singles and over. We win this with ease. Don't take unnecessary risks. If India add another 50 runs uh, in this partnership, Arun, then uh, you would say that they're in a strong position in this game. If they don't lose a wicket. Sri Lanka need wickets and... Uh, Chandana continuing again around the wicket to Dhoni. And that's gone away fine. We'll have to wait for the umpire signal here. Take it easy, youngster. I presumed would be the message, but you never know. They're targeting his legs time they want to want him to play square he's very good when he's playing straight bit of hesitancy but he's made it Tony's made it with ease doesn't even ask the third umpire yeah, he's a big man but he's uh, one of the fastest runners in the Indian team that's strange Ravi he's been given as a bye it's not been signaled a wide. If it's a leg break and it's gone down the leg side, it must have pitched wider of the leg stump. Leg spinner bowling from round the wicket. We'll take a look at it again. He's gone and he is. Well, landed in the crowd, and the crowd is about 25 yards away from the boundary line. There's no messing around with this man. <laughs> this one's come right out of the screws. Good position with the front foot. And bang. Ah, he would have enjoyed it. moment he hit it, he knew it was six for the taking. Number five for Dhoni. Well, he epitomizes the fact that when you want to hit, hit it with all that you've got. It's really paying off. One. Thought about it. But they're going back for the second. The Sri Lankans now feeling the heat. And there's a lot of heat out there provided by Dhoni. And the heat simply because they're 2-0 down. A loss here would make it very difficult for Sri Lanka to claw back into the series. They'll have to win four out of four to win the one-day series then. He's on the back foot. Didn't hazard a single. Doesn't need to take these unnecessary risks. Ten runs of this over as well. One more delivery to go. Atapatu not very happy. Gone over the top, that is four again. Mohinder Singh Dhoni is really turning on the heat. 20 gone, it's 148 for two.
Dhoni on to 92 of 70. Required run rate now coming down rapidly to just 5.03. And to tell you more about this exciting stuff is Rani Labanaika and with him Lakshman Shiva Ramakrishna. Thank you, Arun. It's been an exciting half hour. The man Mahindra Singh Dhoni is rocking. 92 of 70 balls, five sixes in that. get two more and also the 50 partnership comes up in good time and just 33 balls good afternoon Ranil good afternoon uh, Shiva good afternoon all and certainly this uh, partnership quietly getting India on top and uh, Dhoni in particular in fine form the 50 partnership and the 150 coming up so the run rate is very good. Eight wickets in hand. Dhoni sweeping. Sri Lanka weeping. Get the spelling right, might. <laughs> you never know. It's a funny game. What's important here is the presence of Rahul Dravid. That's important for me because he can calm down Mind Singh Dhoni. It's important for a settled batsman to play as long as he can, like Kumara Sankara did for Sri Lanka. The Sri Lankan spinners uh, haven't uh, done too well. Chandana bowled a lot of deliveries on the leg side, a couple of full tosses. Boli Dharan has also been uh, wavered today, and that's helped the Indians. Perhaps um, a bit too anxious to try and keep Dhoni quiet because he's hitting anything loose. Five sixes, nine four so far. <laughs> Dangerous, but you can't stop Dhoni from doing that. It's what makes him so very exciting to watch. It's amazing batting. 92 in just 73 deliveries. That must have hurt Murli. In fact, gets to the boundary. 21 overs gone, 155 for two. One fifty five for two, Dhoni on ninety six. Run rate require under five at the moment. The last ball of the previous over is a good example of how hard he hits the cricket ball. It struck Murli Dharan and nearly took his hand with uh, the ball to the boundary. It was hit so hard. Midoff had no chance, even though Murli had uh, got some pace off that. Well, the second power player that was taken, over number 17 to 21. The five overs yielded 46 runs for India. A run rate of 9.2 in the five overs. Dravid on 12. He'll be on strike to Chandana. Haven't taken the third power play yet. Just four men inside the ring. Three on the offside, saving single. One on the leg side, a short mid wicket. Look at that 8.5 runs an hour, but uh, Atapatu still persisting with the leg spinner. Two right handers out there, and uh, he wants one bowler to be taking the ball away from the right hander, but uh, Chandana is being expensive. You can expect this with Rahul Ravid around. Pick up the singles and give Dhoni the strike. Expectant crowd here, one shot away from 100. Mahindra Singh Dhoni 
sent in at number three. See three different number three batsmen in this series. First game. Irfan Patan batted at number three. Second game it was Chaiprakash Yadav. And now it's Dhoni. Patan was successful. And Dhoni has been successful so far. Very important position in the batting lineup, uh, Shiva. And uh, of course, not an expected player going up there. But the main thing is the job has been done. Good quicker delivery from Chandana. It's much better that he's opted to bowl over the stumps. He's going around the stumps, which I thought was a very defensive ploy. He's got a much better chance from over the stumps. Their leg before can bowl a off stump line with a little bit of turn. The ball will leave the bat. It's been a good tight over so far. He's hit it hard. Two men in the deep. Shaivardhane will cut it off. Just the single. Single after four deliveries, not often in this innings has Dhoni been kept quiet for four deliveries. He's uh, been in spanking form, he's uh, really hammered the ball all around the park. Good tight over, 157 for two. Been a very good run chase. 298. Sri Lanka made after winning the toss and deciding to bat first. 299 the target. Looked formidable, but India replying extremely well. 157 for two. Tony has been the star. 97 of 78 balls. 10 fours and five sixes. So change in bowling. Murli Dharan off the attack. Dilhara Fernando comes back for his second spell. Wasn't too bad a first spell. Went at uh, 5.4 and over. But that's been good considering the run rate that the Indians are maintaining. The 142 required from 28 overs. It's a very crucial stage uh, for the Sri Lankans. If they are to uh, win this game, they need to pick up wickets at certainly need a wicket or two right now they have to get rid of the dangerous Dhoni and of course uh, skipper Rahul Dravid he'll be determined to try and stay out there till the end plenty of thinking for Marvanatha Patu to do he's got to make sure that uh, his uh, feelers are in the right positions and that he gets the maximum support from the bowlers So five inside the ring, 28 overs you mentioned, five overs will be the third power play. This power play has certainly added another dimension to this game. All in favor of the batsman though. Yes, the Indians have made the most of the first uh, five overs. Sri Lankans couldn't because um, the going was tough when the power play was taken when Sri Lanka was batting. Just get the single again. A 
98 runs uh, for Dhoni coming in just 80 deliveries. Five sixers, ten fours. And uh, all those uh, strokes were very, very powerfully hit. 122.5 his strike rate at the moment. The skipper's on strike. Play fine. Shamin Dabaz stay in the deep. The run's coming quite easily for the Indians. Run rate required just 5.09 at the moment, so no hurry. They wouldn't mind uh, the Indians getting singles. It's when they get the boundaries and the big hits made by Dhoni. Five of them going over the ropes. Again, the slower delivery. It's bowled it exceptionally well today. Dilhara Fernando. Dhoni obviously wants to get to the three-figure mark. He's done it once before. Big century against uh, the Pakistanis. Well concealed, slower ball. Tony very watchful. Just two runs away now from a century. Good delivery. Yeah. It's been a good start in a second spell from Dilhara Fernando, taking Tony by surprise. 135 k's per hour. That's uh, a good bouncer because it was well directed straight at the helmet. And uh, Dhoni swaying away at the last minute. Very aggressive. Villaro Fernando keeps the stare. Very good over. 159 for two. So India 64 runs ahead at this stage after 23 overs. Chandana will continue. And Tony, draw with bigger pardon, finds the field in the deep, just get the single. Very short delivery from uh, Chandana. He pulled a good over the previous one. If he can't get wickets, then the next thing that uh, he can do is to keep it quiet as possible. Keep as few runs as possible every over. Ninety-nine, Dhoni. This happened to the leg spinners. Sometimes, if you're worried about being hit over the top, then you just have that tendency to drop it short. Sangakara was excited, but more runs for India. Two more, wait for the umpire's signal. Runs for Dravid. Bit of improvisation from Dravid, noticing that uh, there's no fielder at uh, short fine leg. Chantana bowling with five on the offside and just the four on the leg side to the right handers. Very good improvisation there. Put away in style. Very, very good on loose deliveries. That's what makes him a good player, Rahul Dravid. Plays away the good deliveries and every time he gets an opportunity, he makes full use of that. He's got five fielders on the offside and bowls a loose full toss around leg stump. And uh, Dravid not trying to hit it too hard, but just getting his foot out of the way and uh, hitting it straight down the line for four. 
seen him very aggressive even in the first game. Played a scintillating knock in Nagpur. Here the strike rate is pretty good for Dravid. 21 of 21 balls. That's it. Good stop by Chandana. 24 overs gone, 167 for two. One sixty seven for two, Tony on ninety nine, Dravid on twenty one. Some wonderful sights here in Jaipur. It's a lovely city situated in the state of Rajasthan. And international cricket coming to Jaipur after six years. The crowd here has witnessed some great batting from the Sri Lankans first and now the Indians. He obviously wants him to go on. Hasn't worked up much of a sweat getting this hundred because he's hit uh, so many to the ropes and over the ropes. Ten fours and five sixes in the hundred. It's a remarkable player. Such a treat to watch. There you go. He's ecstatic. Very happy. Rahul Dravid just giving him a pat. Going Dravid. We just told him we are halfway there. Just stay a little longer. Because the longer as Dhoni stays there, the bigger the problem for Marvin Atapatu. Ten fours and five sixes. Look at the strike rate. In fact, slowed down when he got close to his 100. Otherwise, the strike rate would have been over 120, if not 130. Getting back to the point, one more power play. The Sri Lankans need to take. So, longer Dhoni stays out in the middle. Bigger the problem. Just bent his back a little bit there. Tried to bowl it quicker. Went down leg side. But uh, Fernando has been quite disciplined so far. He's got to keep going. Adhapatu's uh, got to have his bowlers pitching the ball in the right areas. Hasn't happened much today. Even Morley Dharan wasn't accurate in his spell. Oh, made some contact. Will be four runs. And by signaled. Good delivery from Dilhara Fernando. Cut Rahul Dravid into half, but hit nothing. Sangakara was uh, possibly unsighted. You could see it took him by surprise. He suddenly moved to his left. The ball sort of going underneath uh, Dravid's armpit. Sangakara perhaps expected Dravid to make contact. And at the last minute, he couldn't get his uh, left uh, glove onto it. He's disappointed, no doubt. He's been out on the field right through this game. Opened the innings, made a century. And uh, he's been behind the stumps. Held on to a lovely catch, a brilliant catch of uh, Tandulka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
good early call from Dravid. Single was always on. So the required run rate under five. Eight wickets in hand. Still work to do for the Indians. 124 required. Dravid has always uh, a picture of uh, concentration. Tony's got to three figures. So obviously seeing it like a football now. Tilakratni Dulshan is one of the quicker fielders for Sri Lanka. But the single once again easily taken. Good calling, good running. Fielder was a little deep. The ball stayed, bounced and uh, stayed around the pitch for a little while. And that uh, gave Dravid the opportunity to charge to the uh, striker's end. So good running between the wickets. So 10 runs coming from this over. So at the half may mark, 25 hours gone, it's 177 for two. Sri Lankan bench and at the back is Thilan Samravira who was named in the side but uh, as the present rules go he didn't get a bat he wouldn't get to bowl now because uh, the super sub is on but uh, he still gets a cap Shiva I guess he should get something <laughs> so the super sub continuing Chandana been very expensive six overs none for 44 before this over very similar to Murli Karthik that's what happened to him six overs 42 it has got into their minds that uh, they can just keep this going get closer to the target get as many singles as possible and wait for the loose delivery that's fine played with soft hands lots of work for Maru to do in the deep the script more or less going Sri Lanka way a couple of early wickets then a good partnership Yet again, Chandana straying down leg side. He's only got four fielders on the leg. He's got to ball more towards the middle stump. Because Dravid will be watchful. He'll be waiting to push the balls into gaps. Wait for the loose delivery to hit through the leg side. Very, very easy pickings. Sri Lanka was 77 for two, then you had a good partnership between Sangakara and Jayawardene. India were 99 for two. And this is a good partnership between Dravid and Dhoni. Worth 83. Very similar. But India got a better run rate. Half tracker gets away with it. Humid conditions. Could be sweaty palms. Yes, he did rub his palms on the ground before he started uh, the run-up. Single to keep strike for Dhoni. 26 overs gone, 183 for two.
Well, if you thought the white worm was good, the blues, very, very good. Sri Lanka 107 for two at this stage. India cruising, 183 for two. They need to keep it going though. It's a big score, 299 the target. Maruf was uh, given a real spanking when he bowled uh, first up. Two overs for 27. It uh, did happen in the first uh, one there also. When he went for 17 in his uh, first over. So the Indian batsman looking to attack uh, the young fast bowler. Not the easiest of pitches to bowl on. The ball coming nicely onto the bat. He's um, just about medium pace. And unless he's accurate, he's going to go for runs. And especially against Dhoni. Yeah, ever since this uh, power play rule has come into play, I think most captains have taken it around the 20th or just after the 20th. Can't remember a single location when it uh, went on to the 24th over and the third power play hasn't been taken. Uh, more like where he should pitch the ball should keep it in line that way he's got a greater chance of uh, bowling a few more dot balls he needs to have a couple of good overs under his belt to get the confidence back oh was in the air had the ball interested fielder anywhere around so that was in the air but quite safe 115 required now 23.3 overs to go so the run rate good comfortable last just a matter of keeping wickets intact and playing till the very end And they should look to play to 48 overs. Really win the game easily then. Well, getting to the power play. England versus Australia. The third power play was taken as late as 34 to 38 overs. Home number 34 to 38. Bit of misfield. Single for Dravid. Who desperately needs uh, to get a wicket. Sri Lankans have to push India back. The game gradually slipping away from them. This partnership now 86 runs. Good over. Just two from it. 27 gone. 185 for two. One eighty five for two. Run rate required now four point nine six per over. Eight wickets remaining, twenty three overs remaining. It's been very exciting in the last one hour. And to talk you through the next half hour, it's gonna be Arun Lal with him is Ranjit Fernando. Thanks, Shiva. Look at those figures there. India almost eighty runs ahead at this stage. That's huge. The second power play starts now, so their problems are not over, Ranjit. We've still got a power play also to get over with. 
I know the Sri Lankan side in enormous problems. The uh, captain, Mahanathavato, he's got his work cut out. They've um, gambled on using uh, or getting out of the power play earlier on and now um, are forced into having one at this stage of the innings with um, Don in such great touch, supported by Raul Dravid. Actually, it might work in their favor, in Sri Lanka's favor, because suddenly all the singles have dried up. Now, again, they've got to change their momentum. The Indians were just walking away with it. They know they need just five runs and over. They were getting them in singles. But now they'll have to play some extravagant shots. Like that one. Tried to play around to the onside. Rahul Dravid is gone. Murli Tharan has come back and he's made the important breakthrough. Yes, they've got a small window here and they'll certainly look to exploit this in a situation where things look very, very gloomy. Murli Dharan, he's struck. He's the man the Sri Lankans are, have always been relying to pick up a wicket. A nice flight of delivery. Dravid looking to push at it. The ball really not coming on. A little softish and Dravid goes. India, three down for 185. Well, just as I said, Rahul Dravid played one onto the onside, trying to hit it a little harder than normal, trying to get those gaps which weren't there, getting the outside edge on a straighter one from Murli Dharan and getting cotton ball. New man in, Yuvraj Singh. Like you said, Ranjit, there is a bit of a window now for Sri Lanka to worm their way in. Average of 30.87 in his ODI career. Yes, there are openings in adversity at times, and here you are. Dravid looking to work it on the onside. May have been a Dusra. No, it was the off break, which really didn't turn much. And um, a simple return catch. So it's a huge, huge break for Sri Lanka when things looked very, very gloomy and um, didn't uh, have much for them. So uh, at times, uh, there is, it is a blessing when uh, you might find yourself in trouble. So the Sri Lankans now forced to attack with nine men inside the ring and uh, with a new batsman in. That's certainly something they would do. Well, really, it's worked for them. So there's power plays worked in Sri Lanka's favor. They've got a wicket, and that's the opening they have to exploit. They've got a slip in place now. Murli Dharan into his seventh over. So they've got four from Murli Dharan to go. He's their prime wick wicket taker. Yuvraj also hasn't got too many. He got 12 in the first game, wasn't required in the second. So it's been a while since he's been there at the wicket. Yes, I think India's got their problems as well because their lower half really hasn't had time at the middle. So this is where the Sri Lankans would need to exploit. There would be a few nervy batsmen out there. The ball spinning away. Murli uh, he'll need to keep his length going, his line right, with the ball spinning away from Yuvraj. This is the dismissal. Well bowled. Didn't quite assess that one correctly. It was an off, the off spinner, wide off the off stump. Yes, in contrast to that delivery to uh, Dravid, pulling quicker to the left-handed Yuvraj as the ball spinning away, not allowing him to use his feet. So more than applying the pressure.
they need five runs and over. But more importantly, now they need the set Dhoni to bat the distance. Venugopal Rao, Suresh Raina, still a fair amount of batting to come here, Fan Pathan. These two at the crease. But for the moment, a maiden over with a wicket, 28 gone, 185 for three. One eighty five for three, twenty two overs to go. About five point one eight runs required per over. Seven wickets in hand. So it looks okay for India, but they've just lost an important wicket of Dravid. They've also just played out the first maiden over against Sri Lanka in this series. But Mahindra Singh Dhoni on to a hundred. He's now got to play a responsible innings. Now let's see how he approaches this second power play. Maruf has the ball. Nine inside the 30 yards. No is the call. Yes, Arun, like uh, Sangakkara batting through the uh, innings for Sri Lanka, Dhoni, like you did mention, needs to um, go the distance. It, it will be really interesting to see as to whether Dhoni at this stage would uh, change course and uh, slow down the momentum or continue in that vein because um, that's... Attacking is really the way he knows how to play and uh, if he looks to try and uh, slow things down and go a little bit on the defensive That might be a bit foreign to him I think he's going to play his game This is the the field restrictions are on and Maharuf bowls normally the length that Dhoni likes Can get onto the front foot and really free his arms not on that occasion getting the inside edge but with Dravid gone, it, was, it would be interesting to see how he approaches it. But I think anything pitched up to him has got to go. Yes, and I think if Dhoni does attack, and Sri Lanka would, although it may be a bit of a gamble, uh, think that that is probably the way that they might be able to get him out. But um, again, things are certainly looking tough for Sri Lanka at this stage. Bit of field adjustment. The long off has now become long on. So the straight field long off is free it's a free hit there for Dhoni that's where he likes it but he's gone the long on and there's a fielder getting under it the ball has sailed right over him into the crowd take that for confidence there is a long on but look at this this is the sixth six for Mahendra Singh Dhoni no half measures for this man there's a man placed down at long on deep at that and he just took the challenge he was quite prepared to take that field on and the ball sailed over him that's a big hit enormous amount of confidence there in that shot he took on the fielder and the bowler for more down the leg side trying to york Dhoni but that's the problem there is no margin of error down the leg side got a little bat onto it there's no fine leg or third man that was four the moment it touched the bat no margin whatsoever as you would see Striving for that Yorker, but um, ball straying down leg side, going full, Dhoni getting some bat. And as soon as you get bat on that, you're in business. Four more runs. There's too much pressure on Maharuf. He had gone for 29 in his three overs. He's come back. And he's already gone for 10. A six and a four. More runs, just the one. Maruf has that style of bowling that he pitches the deliveries up. He wants the ball to swing. Generally pitches on a length and Dhoni with these field restrictions in place on a placid batting wicket can be devastating uh, to Maruf's confidence. Maruf certainly has problems because uh, his strength is to keep the ball up and that's really Dhoni's strength as well. 
and the manner in which uh, Dhoni is going today it's hardly ever going to make a mistake he's cleared the rope six times last ball successfully negotiated by Yuvraj 29 gone it's 196 for three Eighty-one runs ahead, uh, as we were discussing, Ranjit. They've got to get them all out now, but they can't hope to contain them from here. It's too much, uh, the difference between the two sides. Eighty-one runs already. Yes, and uh, the manner in which um, the Indians are going, none of the Sri Lankan bowlers, apart from uh, Muldinan, appear to be even remotely looking to get a wicket. So India certainly ahead. And uh, they certainly could accelerate in the last many overs particularly with the power plays available. Well, I've been given an interesting statistic. The maximum number of sixes hit in an innings by an Indian against any country is seven. Tendulkar did it once in his 100 against Australia at Kanpur in 1998. He hit seven in an innings of 100. Ganguly did it against Sri Lanka at Taunton in the World Cup in 1999 when he got 183. And Ganguly did it again against Bangladesh at Dhaka. Seven sixes. So Dhoni needs one more to equal that record. Needs a drink as well. We're not going to hear the end of Dhoni. He's uh, still very young and uh, certainly a very fine player when it comes to striking the ball. Welcome to the Dhoni show. Dhoni, Dhoni, Dhoni. 92 with Sehwag, 86 with Dravid, and 11 of 10 uh, with Yuvraj now. Yuvraj yet to open his account. Yes, if Sangakkara sparkled for Sri Lanka, what a fine innings played by him as well. It's um, Dhoni's show now. Hardly anything to choose between the two. Sangakkara batting under different circumstances. And Dhoni uh, under something more different. Well, it again goes to underscore that in these conditions, you never know how much is enough when you're batting first. And you're also up against the first 10 overs, which are pretty fresh. Yes, it is a tough call for the captain winning the toss. You really can't, uh, in situations like this, think of putting the opposition in as well. He's found the gap. Slightly short. Rocked onto his back foot. He's got four more, Dhoni. Oh, this pitch certainly is unforgiving. The 200's up. And uh, that was just a trifle short. Certainly a very good delivery to any ordinary batsman. A batsman who's not in form, not in... But Dhoni, he was so quick onto the back foot and hammered it away through the offside, just taking it off outside off thumb. Two hundred has come up. That's the fourth fifty in fifty-five balls. That's the slowest. You wanted one, but you've Raj not quite able to gauge the situation. When in doubt, say no. Yes, in this situation, the singles are not desperate. They're not important. Dhoni has been dealing in boundaries. Well, he's in two minds whether to go over the top and attack Murli or just to hang in there. They put in a silly mid-off just to rile him up a bit. Mohinder Singh Dhoni. Morley 
into his eighth over, but the Indians uh, certainly wouldn't mind uh, just seeing through those overs as the Sri Lankans really would lo have to look for other avenues to try and uh, stem this run rate. Well, they need another couple of Murlis to really push this Indian team back from this situation. They've got a slip in for Yuvraj now for Murli. The way to go because they've got to get wickets. In fact, I'd even want to have a short leg in as well just to put some pressure in on uh, the new man. There's certainly not going to be any harm done by that because Sri Lanka desperately need wickets and uh, a few people in catching positions would help. That's tucked down the offside, on the onside. Just a single. End of the over, India 202 for three. Well, that's the Moti Dhumri Castle, a terrific, uh, terrific site. It's on that hill. It's the private property of the Maharaj of Jaipur. It's a lovely, lovely site. Certainly, is. we've seen some lovely scenery and lovely uh, architecture here in Jaipur referred to as the pink city that's the other side that's the Nahargarh fort lots to think about and how can they put a stop to the rampaging Dhoni Dilshan has now been brought in 63rd match 24 wickets 4 for 29 is best at best a part-time bowler but he's been doing well off late for Sri Lanka He's picked up 24 one-day wickets and um, a good number of them at critical times. So the captain certainly hoping for something here. Once again tucked behind the square leg umpire. Now this will be interesting. The orthodox off-spinner without the dusra, bowling with field restrictions to Mahindra Singh Dhoni on 120. The field is being set. There is a deep square leg. He is permitted two outside the 30-yard circle. He's got a deep square leg that you can see. There's also a deep mid-wicket, but nobody straight. That's odd. He's said no to that one. That could have been a walking single. The man was there deep on the 30-yard circle. He was on his back foot, though, Dhoni. It's Dhoni, I think, also uh, favoring to keep the strike as much as possible. He's gone for it. He's found the gap as well. There are only two manning the fences there. Huge gaps for Dhoni. It's not going to be easy for Dilshan. Yes, as soon as uh, Dhoni heaved at it, they have a shout of catch it. But uh, not to be. The ball landing very, very safe between the two fielders. Now they've got the fielder who was straightish midwicket to an orthodox midwicket. Obviously, he's going to be bowling a leg stump line, flatter trajectories, preventing Dhoni from hitting the straight field. He's got away with that one, Dilshan. Well, that was short and slammed back at Dilshan. Dilshan very quickly reacting and picking it up, almost uh, looked to throw the non-striker stumps down. Dhoni is obviously eyeing the straight field. By Billy Bowden wanting to have a word with Dhoni. I wonder what that is all about. Running on the field? <laughs> Running on the wicket? I suspect that's what it is. Or he could be asking for a runner, yes. He's been stretching a bit for quite a while once he sort of overextended himself. 
He's gone the straight field. There was no need to have fielders there either. He's hit the screen. That is the seventh six by Dhoni. So he equals the record of the highest number of sixes by an Indian. And Dhoni, he certainly is continuing in this way, despite that uh, hampered leg. There's no need to have runners, Ranjit, when you can hit like that. This is an absolutely amazing inning. This is awesome hitting. What power. Beautiful follow through the bat. Yes, he's, he's struggling. It's been like a 5x display. Rockets all around. It's probably a cramp. Well, I saw him get cramps when he scored that 148 against Pakistan. That's when he announced his arrival on the world scene. Shouldn't throw it away from here. 31 gone. It's 213 for three and it's drinks. If Sangakara did it for Sri Lanka, Dhoni has done it for India. And I'm just told that this is the first time in the history of one-day cricket that two wicket keepers from either side have scored hundreds. So that's a stat for the interested few. Also a quiz question to be asked in the near future. 213 for three India. It's been the Dhoni show. It certainly has been. We've seen a lot of fireworks around uh, during this time. But uh, this some is something special. The ball's been hit all around the grounds. Yes, indeed. He's hit seven sixes, as you can see. Those were the first two. And this was the straight field. Maruf has borne the brunt of his destructive stroke play. He's sort of pulverized Sri Lanka into possible submission. India now need just 4.5 runs and over. Dhoni's still there. This is another huge hit for six. Absolutely amazing hitting. That's how he reacted to his 100. He's shot them through the head. Well, the Sri Lankan bowlers were certainly under the gun there. Just having a little bit of attention from the uh, facios, the Sri Lankans Certainly put to the sword, as you would see. But Muralidharan, he stood out. Two for 41 in eight under this onslaught. Was creditable. Three dismissals so far. The first to go. 
Sachin Tendulkar going for a literally a wide one and that was a huge problem for India because he was the man in form and then in walked Dhoni and Sehwag was doing duty with Dhoni was out to that magician Murli Dharan yes this was the Dusra hitting across the line and uh, then the captain Dravid once again picked up by Murli Dharan some consolation Well, Dhoni has got a lot of treatment. He's suffering from cramps. He's a tired man there. That is Raina, who's been subbed in if required. He's going to be batting for India. Sehwag has come in to run for Dhoni. I think this was the time when he sort of split his legs much beyond those very taut and strong muscles would allow that's when he actually started the problems for himself yes that hurt Yuvraj is not too happy with the side screen 213 for 3 India need 86 to win from 19 overs just 4.5 runs an over they can do it at a canter Sri Lanka need the wickets. Sri Lanka, this chest just stayed just 125 for two. Chamin Dawas, even um, the usually economical Chamin Dawas, has gone for runs. Well, Atapatu has got to play all his cards. He's got to now rely on his most experienced. So he's got Chamin Dawas back. They need wickets, and who better than Vas? If he can't do it, there are not many who can. Yes, Sri Lanka certainly cannot allow this game to go the distance. There's no way it would. They, all, they need wickets. And um, that's really why they need to try and have men at positions which uh, would give them those wickets. The fielders. Four men in the ring on the offside and uh, three on the onside. Just looking to save the single, force uh, Yuvraj into making a false sh shot. It's too much movement next to that side screen. Vas bowling from over the wicket. Still problems. Not happy at all. Yes, this ground uh, bursting to the seams here. The crowd enormous. And um, keeping them in control is no easy task. I think you've Raj. All he has to do is just nudge away for singles. This is the last over of the power play. Rahul Dravid in your picture. Vinugopal Rao padded up to go in next. Hasn't had a bat in the series yet, Vinugopal Rao. Well, he's nudged it fine. You've got to say that he wanted to play it down to third man whether he wanted to play it as fine as that is debatable but he's got four it's a very good delivery here from Chamin Dawaz Yuvraj a bit late on the shot but still getting enough bat outside edge and the ball just having enough legs to beat the man at uh, third man that was very intentional by Yuvraj he had the width on offer just played it down very fine for that boundary That's all he needs to keep doing, just churning the strike over. Excitement again, building up. Expectation all around this ground. Last over of the power play. Vas bowling to Dhoni. Now the field set for Dhoni. There's a long off and there's a deep cover. There's no fine leg, there's no third man. So obviously Vas is going to be bowling outside that off stump. Will Dhoni take him on? This is a big challenge for Vas. 
He's really not done too much bowling at the early stages. And now he's been asked to try and contain and also pick up wickets. Well bowled. Now the onus is on Dhoni whether he wants to go wide onto the onside against the angle of the delivery. It's been riveting stuff. Everybody has been treated to their money to their money's worth. Offside field being strengthened even more. He's just chipped it over the bowler for a single. Slower one there by Vas. Almost did Dhoni in. It is Dhoni's day. He could do no wrong. Chipped over Vas. He's been hampered by uh, that injury. Not much movement of the feet on that occasion. Six runs from the 32nd over. It's 219 for three. So the power plays are done and over with. 18 overs to go. India 219 for three in the commentary box. Ranil Abhinayaka and with him Ravi Shastri. Thank you Arun. 80 required from 108. India maintaining a tremendous run rate uh, right from the outset. Required run rate now still under six. Chandana continuing. Ah! To wait for the Empire signal, so no signal. He got some bad on it. Two runs taken. Tony continuing to play those improvised shots. Nicely played away down to fine leg for two more. Take it. Even a push has uh, plenty of power when uh, Dhoni strikes the ball. Chandana unable to stop that. Although it was just a push, it still traveled. You could see his uh, hands being separated the moment the ball hit his hands. Indicating the power with which uh, he hits this ball. Two, 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 double Nelson. And uh, Ravi India in sight of another victory. Singh getting a knock today. Didn't bat in the last game. And the Indians doing it in uh, style now. They're not taking too many risks. Uh, every now and then, Dhoni would uh, play the aggressive stroke. So it means the pressure is off Yuvraj. He's just got to knock it around. 134, what a blistering innings this has been. Seven sixes, 13 boundaries. Came into bat at number three after keeping for the full 50 overs. 
get only a single. 33 overs have been bowled. 224 for three. Two twenty-four for three. You can see Indian having no problems whatsoever with the run rate, thanks to uh, Dhoni's magnificent innings. It was a tremendous counter-attack once uh, Tendulkar was dismissed. Even when Sebag went at ninety-nine, the game was nicely balanced. But this man has taken it away from Sri Lanka for the moment, at least. Here goes Was. Quietly played away for a single. And the good thing Ranil about his uh, batting is he, he can play sensibly. It's not just uh, batting in one gear, going after the bowling from the outset. It's, uh, he's mixed caution and aggression nicely, struck a nice balance. Absolutely. 13 boundaries. Seven sixes, and uh, he's pushed to plenty of singles around too. Oh, that's a good pickup shot. Drifting onto the pads, Vas and uh, Yuvraj Singh putting it away in style. Tall left-hander, high back lift. Yuvraj Singh joins the party. Over pitched and straying down the leg side. Nicely put away. Yuvraj Singh making the most of uh, this opportunity to spend time in the middle. He started along quietly. He's moved on to 12 now. The good thing about uh, this Indian team now with uh, Dhoni and Patan getting their uh, act together as batsmen uh, and the batting order being flexible. Most of the time they can go into a game with a batsman as a super sub. 80-90% of the time and play that extra bowler when they choose their level. That's wrapped on the pads, he gets some bat on it. Uh, kept a little low and suddenly a big inside edge Shami Dawas uh, possibly unsighted as he finished his uh, follow through he's bowled some good deliveries but in between uh, he's um, strayed and all the Sri Lankan bowlers in fact have been that they've uh, strayed given away the boundary balls that's four ball again poor line from Vaas and he pays the price for it second boundary of the over and without any risk of being taken and just as i said there goes the bad delivery down leg side well put away by yuvraj singh way an effort from sangakara the sri lankans right through this innings have done that was knows uh, that he has strayed all the bowlers are barring possibly Murli Dharan. They've all strayed every single over. 2 3 3 for 3. Thirty-four overs have been bowled. Two thirty-three for three. Oh, 
Down the track again. He strikes it so well. Again, magnificent timing. 50 partnership comes up in uh, very quick time. No pressure being put on the bowler straight away. Quick on his feet, meets it on the full. And the placement spot on. He has been cramping and he's got a run up. And certainly when he picks that ball up, when he sees it flighted, comes down the track so quickly. Turn that into a full toss. The target made quite easy now. 62, plenty of balls remaining. 94 to get the 62 runs. That smashed again off the back foot. Beats long off. Now that just goes to show how hard he's hitting that cricket ball. The Chief Minister of Rajasthan cannot resist. Basun Rajas India has watched the cricket all day today. Even though it's uh, been very sunny in that section where she's been sitting, but uh, that's not taken her away. She's watched the cricket right through and enjoyed every moment of it. Thought of coming down the track again, but uh, realized it was pushed through a little quickly and adjusted very nicely. Got onto the back foot, chopped it down for a single. A runs coming uh, far too easily for India at the moment. Already 10 runs in this over, one ball to go. 56 needed now and you can see the body language of the Sri Lankans the shoulders dropping he'll keep the strike Dhoni with that single 10 off the over again 15 overs to go 244 for three Two forty-four for three. Fifteen overs to go. Fifty-five needed, and uh, Muthaya Murlidhan into his ninth over. He's got two for forty-one. He's the one bowler who's uh, commanded respect. And the crowd here have had a ball. Cut away. Couple of runs taken again. Equals Tony's highest score in one day internationals. He's on 148 now. He reached that score in Vishakapatnam against Pakistan. That 100 also coming in quick time, 148 of 123 against Pakistan. It's played 122 balls now in this innings. He goes for the big one, he's best time this. But it's his day. 
two runs taken and 150 to Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Well, they say fortune favors the brave. He certainly has been a brave man today from India's point of view. What an effort. Well, it has been the day of the wicket keepers. Sangakkara first and now Dhoni. 150. And what a fine innings it's been. Thirty-six overs gone now, two hundred and forty-eight for three. Two forty-eight for three. Thirty-six overs have been bowled, and uh, Dhoni has reached one hundred and fifty. Only Adam Gilchrist, uh, as a wicketkeeper, has uh, two higher scores than that: one hundred and fifty-four against the Sri Lankans, uh, and one hundred and seventy-two. That was uh, Gilchrist's highest. Uh, that was against Zimbabwe. So Dhoni, very much in the one hundred and fifty club now. thing about uh, Dhoni's innings is that uh, 36 runs only behind the wicket the rest of it's all been in front so many shots hit straight down the ground well, what I like about uh, Imran Elis is uh, tremendous self-confidence confidence in his own ability he backs his strength you mentioned he likes hitting in front of the wicket wasn't afraid to hit was uh, for two sixes over extra cover early on and he backs himself at times even when the field uh, is set deep even if there is a long on a long off he still doesn't uh, hesitate in going over the top he's cramping badly not easy when you have to keep for three and a half hours in these conditions and then go out and bat the way he has has bowled him right through the defense of your Singh. saying no clue whatsoever pitching on a middle stump just straightening and rattling the stumps just played down the wrong line standard off break from uh, Dilshan and uh, he pushed through the leg side with the ball is around middle stump and Dilshan is struck for Sri Lanka. The fourth wicket. Maybe late, but uh, Yuvraj Singh goes 18 of 24 deliveries, and India now 250 for four.
So the young man, Venugopal Rao, comes out to the middle. First time he's batting in the series. 49 required from 79, and the reason why he's here is because this is what happened. No footwork whatsoever. Front foot just getting stuck on the crease. Playing uh, with the bat away from the body, the ball turning a bit and uh, rattling the stumps. And he'll be disappointed, Yuvraj. These are opportunities you've got to take. Especially if you've got off to a start. Mero Gopal Rao off the mark straight away. He's been in good form in domestic cricket. 251 for four. Two fifty one for four. Forty eight runs required at this stage. Tony still going strong, hundred and fifty one. Those runs coming of just hundred and twenty six balls. This is the last over of Mutaya Murlidran. Nine overs, two for forty five. What Sri Lanka would want uh, is to get rid of him and then just see if they can uh, create some panic among the Indian um, middle and lower order. Been very consistent uh, around 40 45 balls for each 50. Oh. Yes, attacking with uh, men round the bat. Sangakara, Atapatu, they know that uh, Sri Lanka have to take wickets that's the only way they can win this contest not much protection no helmets for any of the close fielders Pick the Dusra at one turned away from the right hander, but uh, when the Gopal Rao watched it, just angled his bat as he played. Not sure, he kept it uh, on the ground away from that uh, close catcher. And again, uh, the little I saw him bat in uh, a tournament in Sri Lanka when he played Muridhar, and he seemed to pick him up nicely and read him as the ball came out of the hand, not reading it off the surface. Got to watch that wrist of uh, Murli Dharan as the ball comes out. There you go, off spinner and swept. Good situation for Venugopal Rao to come in. Still relatively inexperienced. His uh, team is going well. He's got uh, Dhoni at the other end. Now on 151. So he can take his time and push the singles, get himself a few runs, build up his confidence. There is a slip in place for Dhoni, but there is long on, long off. Last ball of Mulitran spell is coming around the wicket. And a loud shout. And in fact, uh, pleading with the umpire. 252 for four. Thank you. 
252 for four. Big shout. Uh, last ball of Muril Dharan's spell. Sri Lanka desperate to get uh, rid of this man. It was a pretty good shout as well. Morley Dharan was absolutely disappointed uh, at uh, not getting the decision in his favor. And uh, he's having a word with the umpire. <laughs> if only his eyes can talk. Not happy with the explanation given. Tony will be back on strike to Dilshan. Interesting to see if he goes for the uh, big shot in this over. Still doing some explana ex explaining of uh, that uh, delivery, the last one. Come uh, Irfan Pathan. He batted at number three in the first game in Nagpur and uh, did well. And he's a young man. He'll uh, learn with every game that he plays. And he'll also realize that uh, it's a great level of the sport. Went for plenty today. 67 in his 10 overs. But he'll also know three days later he can bounce back the field uh, moving back now a couple of deliveries to go in this over 255 for four Forty-four to get. Still uh, eleven overs to go. In the commentary box now, Shivarama Krishnan is with Ranjit Fernando. Thanks, Ravi. Looking good, India. Suresh Rana, the man in the picture, the super sub. So additional batsmen. We have Irfan Patan, Jay Prakash Yadav. Lots of batsmen left for India. Run rate required just four and over. Good afternoon, Ranjit. A very good afternoon to you, Siva. It's been scintillating batting by um, Dhoni. If it was uh, Sangakkara for Sri Lanka, it has been Dhoni all the way for India. And what an innings this has been. So the Sri Lankans uh, just striving, just looking for another opportunity if there is one. And also doing the right thing by bringing in fielders inside the ring against Venugopal Rao. He's the new man in. He's getting to bat for the first time in this series. So Dravid, he certainly must be pleased with um, his batsman. So nothing really has gone wrong. He's put his finger right on the button all the time. Again... Vena Goparo was late on the delivery. It's been pretty expensive, Maruf, going for 40 in his first over. First four overs. See, once again, the ball almost ricocheting back on the stamps.
this game running away from the Sri Lankans, but uh, stranger things have happened in games of cricket. And they don't want to get bogged down at this stage. All Venugopal Rao needs to do is pick up a single and give Dhoni the strike. Bit of concern there for Farviz Maruf getting close to the danger area. Ari Harun, the umpire. It's costing him. He's taking the ball away. He's gone to his partner, Billy Burden. Is there something wrong with the ball? He's typing change of ball. This ball has got scarred, as you would see. And uh, Yampa is uh, giving the batsman the benefit of uh, a change. It does happen usually in the subcontinent between over number 35 and 40. With not too much of grass on the pitch, there is a good chance it could get discolored. Get one in similar condition, a lot whiter. Maybe a touch harder, which is good for the batsman. Yes, at times it does work for the bowler as well. If probably um, there is a little bit more movement uh, or reverse swing on the ball than uh, the newer one. And uh, the Sri Lankans um, would hope for some sort of window, some sort of opportunity that um, can get a wicket. We need to try and uh, narrow this, the 44 to win against the 63 balls. message across to Mahendra Singh Dhoni would be is to play till the very end you need a well settled batsman to bat right through Venugopal for the moment is struggling you don't want another newcomer in it's on the very fact that um, Venugopal hasn't really had too much time at the center in the earlier games that's really what the Sri Lankans would be uh, looking to bank on force him into some pressure All in readiness. Maruf will continue. Three balls remaining in this over. Over number 40. Mm, good delivery. Good carry as well. See, every dot ball is something that the Sri Lankans could uh, cling on to. That's the last straw. It's better off playing with the full face of the bat to mid off. Struck it nicely but found Dilshan. He's a good feeler at the point area. Unlike the batsmen who have spent time in the middle before in the series, uh, when Gopal rather circumspect. Hits that firmly, but uh, the Sri Lankans very alert. Slower delivery and get off strike. Maybe something that the Sri Lankans wanted. 40 overs gone. It's 256 for four. Chief Minister of Rajasthan watching the proceedings. And Niranjan Shah, Secretary of Saharashtra Cricket Association, also in the picture. 
Well, getting the single of the last ball of the previous over might have been intentional just to keep this man on strike, Vena Gopal Rao. Gone over the top. The sound was good. And the result even better. Well, the pressure was on, but Venu Gopal Rao, he was up to it, getting up to the pitch of that delivery, hitting it straight over the long on boundary for six. Again, very, very firmly struck. He was not going to be kept tied down. Good use of the feet, as you would say. That will certainly relieve some pressure for Venugopal Rao. Pulls slow through the air. That gave him enough time for the batsman Venugopal Rao to charge down the pitch. Yes, it certainly was good response. There was a crowd was also getting a bit impatient with him. He wasn't really pushing the single. And um, he responded exceedingly well with six runs. So Tony will be on strike. There's a lot of excitement when he's on strike. There's plenty of chanting around, asking him to go for the sixer. A lot of young kids will certainly take up to the game. Having watched this today. Venugopal wants to, and he'll be running to the danger end. He is. Virendra Sebag not responding. The throw is at the wrong end. There is a direct hit. No response from the umpire. We'll come back to that after this. 41 gone to 65 for four. Thirty-four runs remaining, just under four. Six wickets in hand. Dhoni's been a star. One fifty-four, one thirty deliveries. Ooh, sitting very tight. A few tense faces in the crowd. That's nicely struck. Venu Gopal is finding his touch. Like Ranjit mentioned, hasn't had an outing in terms of batting in the last two matches. But two good shots in two overs. Well, this young man's got talent, Venu Gopal Rao. And that really is an indication of that. Short and um, gives it the treatment past uh, that Kali fielder. The point, really. The strike rate improving for all. Well, it could have been a tight call in the last over, the last ball of the previous over. Always a problem when you have a runner. Tony plays this one to long off. Venu Gopal wanted to just keep your eyes on Virinder Sebag, extreme right. He doesn't want it, and Venu Gopal Rao. Was almost there, and he was running to the danger end. Venu Gopal Rao, and there was a big appeal, but Virendra Sehwag, despite the fact he was reluctant, was home quite safely. Yes, if Sri Lanka really cannot defend um, the 298, they certainly are in um, serious difficulty in the rest of the series. And uh, their coach, um, I think his value will really be tested. Have to come up with some ideas. Mahavan to two. 32 win in 51 balls. And there you are, Tom Modi. I'm sure many thoughts must be going through his mind. I saw you having a chat with Tom Modi in the morning. He was expecting the ball to turn in the afternoon. We haven't seen too much of that. 
it's been a very good surface right through. Yes, Shiva, it's a tough call for captains spinning tosses um, in situations like this under these conditions. There was an element of dampness, and uh, the Sri Lankans took a little bit of time. There you are, there's uh, Maruf gets a warning for running on the pitch. The umpires uh, gave him an earlier warning, and uh, he really hasn't been able to get off the, uh, the strip, the danger area. Something again for the coaches to work with. Chamindavas was born. Now Maruf. One foot either side from the middle stump. And there is five feet. But after that, if you get onto that area, be cautioned. Then warned. It's a man in the deep, just the single for Doni. Good delivery to end the over. 42 gone, 271 for four. Dilshan to continue. Tony picking up another single. And he's on his way to achieving another milestone. The highest ever score by a wicket keeper in a one day international is by Adam Gilchrist. 172 was the Zimbabwe. And there you are, those are the men who keep the scores. Don't need some discomfort, but um, you could see that uh, it's a lot of grit and determination to go on. He realizes that he needs to stay to the end. He's seen Sangakara do that for Sri Lanka. And he's not going to be outdone. He's batted so well. So keep his days out. Again, taking the bowler on. Dilshan had to cover quite a bit of ground to his right. Must be quite exhausting for Sangakara and Dhoni. There you are, Dilshan. Very quick to react, but uh, not quick enough. Just four inside the ring. It's been quite fantastic. He's just changed gears. Dhoni is not trying for the big shots. Just being very sensible. Wants to play it till the very end. Make sure team wins. Goes 3-0 up. He's able to control his aggression, which is a very good sign. Yes, that seems to be the maturity that the Indian players have. Uh, acquired in the recent few games. You could see the determination to bat on and on. And that's something which um, I think augurs very well for Indian cricket. Two seventy-four for four.
Maruf continues. And Dhoni continues to pick up runs. There could be two. Venugopal Rao charging for the first one. Comfortable in the end. It's been a very dominant effort by the Indians. They've, uh, despite having to defend or to chase a big total, have done it in style. Almost carried, or did it carry? It's a difficult one for Maruf, but was it a drop chance? Yes, pushed at that one, just dropping short. Need to have those catches ticking if Sri Lanka are to pull out something from the bag here from here. Fain Gopal Rao was also concerned at the non strikers end. He was diving back. Dhoni's had no problems whatsoever in picking up runs at will. That was another knock to remember. It's been a good year for Dhoni, 2005. It's the way he is going. If there's one man who could get a double hundred in uh, a one-day game, it um, also could be Dhoni. One um, is usually accustomed to associating someone like Gilchrist, uh, also coincidentally a wicketkeeper who probably could do that. Adam Gilchrist, by far the best wicketkeeper batsman ever in the history of the game. Sangakara is not way behind. He's done extremely well. In fact, he did so well in the Super Series in the One Day Games. And Mark Boucher, I don't know for what reason, figured in the six day test match. Sangakara should have been the man. Absolutely. I think we've seen some uh, curious uh, or intriguing selections uh, in that. Uh, world team Sangakkara certainly has been growing in stature you could see that um, his uh, development has been very very consistent and uh, the maturity he's shown uh, certainly puts him amongst the top wicket keeper batsman definitely number two after Gilchrist Good delivery, 44 gone, 277 for four. The blue worm has not come down. Still going high and looking good till the very end. Not to take the credit away from the white one. Chandana into the attack. And Tony is cheeky this time. Should get two more. You could see the Sri Lankans. Uh Heads drooping. That early interest, the enthusiasm dying away. The captain really has a job to do here. They'll need to try and keep their spirits going. The odd shout from Sangakkar is all what we hear at this stage. The 
question is where do the Sri Lankans go from here? Where do they, how do they find resources to fill the gaps? The batting has uh, really let them down, particularly the top order. Yeah, in the first two games, the batsman let them down, and here, I thought 298 was a good score. Chai Surya has not fired because he gets uh, them very quickly. Mawa Natapattu has not got runs. He's only been Sangakara. And today Jaya Vardhana. He's hit it in the air. And if you want to guess where it lands, outside the boundary ropes. Most sixes by an Indian batsman in a one-day international. And this man is pure magic. Oh, stand and deliver. Save. If one could say that uh, he just can't move his feet, that is no problem whatsoever. Stays at one place and slams it over the long off. Who says you can't hit a six if you're not balanced? <laughs> Tony. And again, this is a miscue. And that's a rare sight. Hitting it in the air, but not outside the fence. Looks as if he wants to finish it off in a hurry. Eight sixers, that's a record for India in one day cricket. Overhauling Sachin Tendulkar and uh, of seven. Get the single Venugopal row. Tony on 169 has a great opportunity to become the highest scorer in a one day international that is by a wicket keeper. 172 by Adam Gilchrist versus Zimbabwe Hobart 2004. Still remains the highest score by a wicket keeper. It's just three shot. Man getting underneath it. But the ball clears the fence and he achieves a fantastic record. Mahendra Singh Dhoni becomes the highest run getter in a one day international for a wicket keeper. And that takes him to 175. Oh, what sensational batting this is. Even the most ardent Sri Lankan supporter would acknowledge that uh, there's nothing very much you could do under these circumstances. Clean hitting. And that's once again six maximum for Dhoni. Six to win. Doesn't get it this delivery. Just a single to keep strike. 17 runs of the over. It's 294 for four. So Mahendra Singh Dhoni has had a fantastic day here. The crowd in Jaipur at the Savai Mansingh Stadium couldn't have asked for a better day. 298 by Sri Lanka, superb 100 by Sangakara, and in reply, India need another five from 30 balls. Wilhara Fernando. No ball. Call from the straight umpire, so overstepping. They've had their money's worth, the crowd. What wonderful cricket. Stroke play as its best here. Fine innings by Sangakkara. Only to be overdone, overshadowed by Dhoni. Played under different circumstances, but uh, Dhoni's sixes stole the show. And nine sixes and 15 boundaries for Dhoni. Another no ball. The 
it would seem that the Sri Lankans have given up the ghost here. Two no balls in succession. And the crowd asking for more from Dhoni. Would he finish it off with another sixer? He had one of them. Sebar goes home safely. Making sure that he's unbeaten. 177 for Dhoni. And it's all paying off for Greg Chappell. St. Patan at number three in the first game in Nagpur. He played well. And here, needed a big score. Target 299 sent in Dhoni at the fall of Tendulkar's wicket. And what a way this man has reacted to the situation, Dhoni. Shiva, it's interesting. You see, uh, Irfan Patan was a success batting at uh, number three, coming in uh, to do the job at pinch hitter. I wonder what prompted um, the uh, brain star to stop the Indian team to uh, uh, use Dhoni on this occasion instead of Patan. Well, I just guess uh, the previous occasion uh, when Irfan Patan batted at number three, India batted first. And here, with India chasing, they probably thought Dhoni was a better option because Tendulkar had gone early. And Tendulkar was in better form than Virendra Sevag, so he probably thought, we need somebody who can get runs quickly. It's just uh, a lot of choices I get. Is whatever it is, I think everything that um, Dravid and uh, Rex Chappell touches seem to be turning to gold. So, uh, why bother? We'll Try various combinations. It's all working at the moment. This kind of a situation, then you have few options when you get uh, further down the road, closer to the World Cup, depending on the circumstances, depending on the attack. Yes, this is why I think the Sri Lankans have got their problems. Sri Lankans have plenty of uh, cricket to come. They've got uh, the rest of the one-day series, uh, three-test series against uh, India. Then they've got four one-day internationals in New Zealand. And then um, the one-day internationals in Australia. So they'll be under quite a bit of pressure. And uh, Tom Modi and Mahavanatha Patu, they'll have to do put their thinking caps on to find a way to turn this on or turn this around. They certainly won't be happy with the way he got out today, Rahul Dravid, but he will be a very satisfied man. Not an easy target, but Marvin Atapatu will be disappointed, in fact, to the extent that they could be demoralized. It's 297 for four. So two required, 24 balls remaining. How do you reckon Dhoni will finish this off? Do you think he's got a six in his mind? Yes, he has a six on his mind. And that's exactly what he gets. His 10th sixer. What an innings. Magnificent innings by Mahendra Singh Dhoni, 183 not out of 145 balls, 15 fours and 10 sixers, a strike rate of 126.2. This is a magical effort, awesome batting. Oh, what an innings this has been, oh, absolutely awesome. I really, 
I find, would find it difficult to find words to describe this innings. Equals uh, Saurabh Ganguly's highest of 183. This really has been a great treat for this huge, huge crowd. The Sri Lankans could only acknowledge it. There's nothing very much they could have done. So with an innings like that, you just have to just watch. And there you are. That's the way he finished it off. A massive 6 0 mid wicket. The star really made his impact when he got his first 100 against Pakistan. 148 it was. And here it's been outstanding. Everyone at the ground has enjoyed it. More so the Indian team. They are leading 3 0 in this Videocon Cup series. Greg Chappell and Rahul Dravid will be very happy with the team effort. Sachin Tendulkar, the man. First to go and congratulate Dhoni. The entire team will be indebted to his great innings that he saw his side through. See, the only consolations that the Sri Lankans could take is that uh, they've had to uh, resign themselves to such a fine innings. Uh, innings dominated by Dhoni alone. And there you are, Greg Chappell. Just a bit of a hug. And uh, he's uh, congratulating his uh, victorious team. Winning the toss and uh, electing to bat first, Sri Lanka did extremely well. 298. But at the lunch break, it's going to be a difficult run chase. 